Hello everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'd love to share with you my predictions for the week of April 17th, 2022. And the deck I'm using is the Cute Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann. Um, whoops, one's already popping through, so I'm gonna use that one. Um, this deck has been um, a joy to work with. And just, I love the imagery and the well thought out symbolism that she has in this deck. And so um, if you're interested in purchasing it, we have this deck available at both storefronts and in the online store. All right, so I'm gonna pull a couple more cards to go with the one that flew out and we'll see what Spirit has in store for us as a collective. All right, the one, okay, the one that flew out was the death card, meaning change. The next card we have is the Seven of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Pentacles, right? So um, as we're moving into Taurus season, which is a, an earth sign, which Taurus is about the manifestation and the end result, hopefully the end product of our intentions and moving forward and, and with all the legwork that we have been um, doing for our intentions and manifestations, we should start to see things start to come um, to fruition. So the death card is often change. And so many people get nervous when they see this card come up, it, either like they think that there's an abrupt ending or that someone is going to pass. Um, for my symbolism, it has to do with change, the ending and completion of cycles. And I have said this often and um, that the endings sometimes are celebrated because I have worked so hard to achieve this. That's the end of that journey and on to a new journey. So definitely change is in the air with the completion of experiences. And then that next card we have is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles um, is an earth sign as well. And, and it's as, as is the King of Pentacles. Um, but pentacles are our tangible experiences. So we may experience the feeling of, oh, this was taken away, or I wasn't ready to let that go. Um, but it's necessary for where we're moving into the future. What's kind of popping up right now um, is maybe your car is on its last leg and you kind of knew that and there might be something that pops up with it and you might be on the fence of at a crossroad with do i invest in this repair or do i start fresh with a new car right and if i'm wanting to travel more or my position um at work has me driving a lot maybe i need to upgrade in that way to have reliable transportation Right. So it's a spirit saying that um, in order for us to have our manifestations come to life and our intentions, sometimes there's some some things that we need to do and plant different seeds and tend to those seeds and tend to the things and in our physical world. And so um, if you're not in a position to buy a new car, maybe get that oil change, maybe pay attention, maybe um, give a little bit more love, you know, if it needs more time to warm up, give it time to warm up, you know, and stop cursing at it or being frustrated and, you know, and, and yelling at your car, give it love, right? So I'm gonna um, just apply that to the cars. And, you know, also the cars are, a car can be an extension, a representation of our physical temple. So that kind of, you can look at that to a few different ways. So if your body's saying something, pay attention, do something to it rather than judge it and, and beat it up. Okay. So this, there are a lot of different places where I know this can apply for many people. And then we had that King of Pentacles. So all of these experiences are to help us to be in alignment with our potentials and what we know is possible for ourselves. So if so, if there is an ending a, um, a wrapping up of a situation or two, allow that to happen rather than resist it. Right. Just, and I know I, I have that happen in my life as well. I'm, I'm, not above all of this. Um, there are certain scenarios and situations where I, you know, have some resistance and I say, okay, great. So now I, you know, and I'm human as we all are pretty much. And um, so just um, try to move into that energy. And we are also riding the wave of a full moon as well on the 16th. So a lot that's taking place uh, collectively and cosmically.
All right, so try to try to go with the flow and and tend to the things in your in your physical world, right? Your money, your body, your home, your um like even your surroundings around your home too, does your garden need tending to and so on and so forth. There's just there's there's a lot that we I think overlook or take for granted or just say I'll, I'll put it off and I'll get to it later. Uh, this week, we're probably going to be um, shown where we can be more attentive and nurturing and, and take action with these things. Alrighty, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I'm Lori Baracco. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.